Hello and welcome to Demonic Discussions. I'm one of the hosts, Megan Grise, along with my co-hosts, Mariana, Sam, and Aaron. What are we doing today, Mariana? Today we are looking at I Feel Fantastic, one of the first videos to ever make me very, very, very uncomfortable. Now, I found this I video. don't think I've seen this. I have seen this only once. Uh, um, I found it a couple of me? years ago. <laughs> Just view Aaron. <laughs> oh, this really, really, really bizarre video um, I found a few years ago on one of those top 10, top 5, whatever, countdown channels. So this had to be like... Watch, if it's not Watch Mocho, it's not worth it. It was like most amazing top 10, something like that. There was a British oh, lady talking okay, that one. I watched it a lot when I was younger. Um, but so... This, in the video, the woman was saying how people think it was sending out some little messages, which is specifically why I looked it up, because I was like, you know what, I want to get brainwashed into something weird, let's go. Uh, then Q- We're already in cults, we might as well. Great. What do we got to lose? Look, it's legally not a cult. <laughs> so, this video freaked me out a lot, uh, because I kid you not when I say it is just a mannequin dressed in the image of a woman singing. That oh no! It. I think I do know this one! Maybe, I still have to see it. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Like, alright, the video genuinely is not much more than just a robotic woman moving very, you know, robotically, I don't know how else to describe it, and singing a just very monotone. I don't know, I don't like it. But the robot is named Terra. Um, but so Terra was created by a man named John Bird Berger 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 Berger. We're gonna call him John, John B. John Burger. John Burger. Uh, she was created in two thousand. Let's call him Burger King. She was supposed to be an act set up by John, where she was supposed to be the world's first Android music star. Um. Well. That alone sounds unsettling. John is hence forth dropped off the face of the earth after 2006. Nobody knows what happened to him or Terra. He but, went um, to the Paris catacombs, obviously. <laughs> but we're going to take a look. He one of the video. He felt bad about what he created. Um, we're going to take a quick look at this unsettling video. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let me see what you guys think. How oh, creepy looking. Hi. Gwen's the one who showed me this too. Of course, of course she did. did. Ooh, I feel the anxiety. I feel bad because she sounds like Katsune Miku. And I actually like Katsune Miku. I don't like is so poor. Ooh, why did her hand do that? I don't know. Her body looks new, I don't know that. It looks like the sex like doll. Coraline's mother. <laughs> oh, it's like it just does. reminded me of like a weird mix of like those weird plastic the kid lost her things from the first episode of Doctor Who and Grace from the Umbrella Academy, and I don't know which unsettles me more. <laughs> Cameron's looking kind of plasticky here. Must have had too much Botox. Oh my god, it's Chris Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> you did not have to call her out like that. <laughs> she is just a businesswoman trying to make her way to the world. The Kardashians look different here. <laughs> Ollie London, did he grow his hair out? <laughs> she's on the ceiling now. <laughs> Why is it upside down? I don't like that! It's like she's in the ceiling. Those are in the upside down. God, Ollie Netflix? London, you're not Spider Man, get off the ceiling! Looks strange to think what? Awesome. Floor game only. Why is it outside? What is happening? Ugh. Ollie London, you're not Jimin. I'm sorry. 
I forgot how. Oh my god. No more! Alright, so, not gonna lie, I was like increasingly more uncomfortable as it went on. Like by the end, I, I like stopped how breathing. How long was that? Because it felt like it went on forever. It was about two and a half minutes. Really? I swear to god, I feel like I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I stopped breathing for a good, like, ten seconds, and I, I was, like, snapped, and I was like, because, like, it freaks you out so much. Um, but if you didn't think that was freaky enough, here are some theories. Um, alright, so, all the theories entertain the idea of some sort of murder. So, here's, alright, here's the first one. Um, it, People think that John murdered a woman named Tara and created this android in her image to finally make, you know, human Tara perfect. He was in search of the perfect woman, and this is the closest he could get to her. Some people say uh, that maybe he did it because he wanted to bring, you know, the real Tara back to life because he felt bad, and others say that he created this one to reanimate her so, you know, he can drown out her screams of being murdered, you know, through this terrifying robot. The other one is that, you know how I said he disappeared after 2006? This one, uh, I actually find it a little bit funny. Um, people think that she gained sentience, um, and murdered him. Uh, I don't know why people think it's that movie. What was the movie? Hold on, I'm gonna Google it now. <laughs> um, was it just called Mannequin? How do we know this isn't just like a Freddy Fazbear situation? Anyway, because I wanted, I really want people to hear this. Okay, so do you guys know the horror game Mad Father? Sounds familiar. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, there's a similar style game called E. And he is the game of, it's about this girl and her father, and they go to the art museum. And the girl gets lost, and she ends up being trapped in the museum, and she has to, like, fight her way out of the and stuff. And the mannequins in that game want to murder you, and they move, and they are very scary. And that's kind of what it's reminding me of. But is there, I watched um, Markiplier a few years ago did a playthrough. I don't know what else that and uh, what Megan was saying reminded me of. Earlier I mentioned like that episode of Doctor Who with like mannequins and everything. Like the very first episode of the Doctor Who reboot with the living plastic. Then the mannequin just starts walking. It's that's what it reminds me of. It's uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Uh, we'll send you a link. Oh no. Alright. We'll watch it. Now for the rating. No. On the spooky scale, how do you guys rate it? Honestly, a 7. It was still spooky, but I think I was scared by the parents of Yeah, mine's still a 7. It's unsettling a little bit, and then the theory just kind of made it a little worse, but I wouldn't say it's, like, yeah, scary. The, the, theory, the theories make it worse. I don't know. I put it at probably an 8 for only one reason, because both times I've seen it now, like, my body just kind of told me no, and I could feel myself just kind of encaving on the inside. I don't know what it is, but something about it makes me so uncomfortable. It's like painful for me to watch. I was so tempted to I stop think, it. I think part of it is because you can tell it's trying to be human. Like what person freaked me out was the hand, the one movement of the handmade, and the lips. The lips were really unsettling. It, it looked like it was trying. And that almost kind of scared me more. 
versus just a man in Like with this, I didn't dive in as deep as I would have, you know, normally for this because, like, I know there's a lot of videos like talking about this, but specifically because I didn't want to associate myself too much with it because of how scary it is. Because plus, your search history is gonna be. Honestly, I need to just <laughs> delete this account and start over. Come on, you guys knew. <laughs> I don't know, but that freaked me out so much. First time I watched it, still freaked me out. I think I was on the verge of tears. I was so freaked out by it because I was, God, I had been about eight, nine years old. So you know, it's been a good few years. I don't know how the video itself is pretty old. Let's see. I don't know how old I am right now. Here we go. Um, yeah, this came out in 2009, so it's a pretty old video. Uh, I'm looking at the comments, <laughs> and somebody just said, I'm Gonna tell my kids this is Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids that was. I'm gonna tell my kids that was Jimin. Somebody said, Dude, she's just vibing. Leave her alone. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that freaks me out on a level I cannot explain to anybody because I don't understand it. Like, I read yeah. through, I under, like, it was created on a budget of about $2,000 worth of parts. There was a, um, editing, whatever, there was some kind of program that the guy used to allow her to Sony sing. Vegas. But the thing, the re the thing that freaks me out is that he thought this was normal. That's why I believe in the theory that maybe Tara was a real person that he murdered in hopes to make her perfect. You know? Because what would possess somebody to make a robot in the likeness of somebody and make her sound a person? I don't know, I think it freaks me out on a level I cannot explain, nor do I want to. <laughs> I'm trying to think, who does it? It kind of reminds me of- humans are terrible enough as it is, why do you want another one? It kind of makes me think I of like- I can the same thing of parents who want kids. Have you ever been to Chuck E. Cheese? Everyone's been to Chuck E. Cheese before, right? I think you mean IRL Freddy Fosbears. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it kind of makes me think of those robots. Like, I remember being- oh, the Yeah, probably being five or six there, just watching as they move very jerky. Because, like, I think they've been fixed over time. I haven't been to a Chuck E. Cheese in Christ. It's been at least three years. Uh, we went one summer. I, 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 I went to one, um, I suggested as a joke, and Mom actually took my brother and I. Okay. Ah, my folder's dropping with all my ideas. Alright, so, as usual, in the description, you will find all of our Instagrams, along with the channel's Instagram and Twitter. You also... I don't think I'm gonna link this video. <laughs> I don't want to put this in the description. No, you guys, you find you on curse our, our channel. Right. We'll you guys find this on you sick bastards. Um, but yeah, that's all for me. Anything for you guys? Nope. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Alright. Bye.